Hey everyone, I'm Danny K. Dank, and this is behind the scenes of season three of Honk Your Horn, the first five episodes. I just know I'm going to say a lot of the same words over and over, and people are going to make fun of me for it, but it's fine. So let's dive into it. Episode one, first scene, the cold opening, mid-argument, Dan and Vader on Dan's bed. No, they do not share a bed. <laughs> um, it seemed to make sense. Like, we're just diving into the middle of their life. There doesn't need to be a, a real opening. It's just them living their lives. Of course they're arguing. What else is new? That's where the name Honk Your Horn came from. And it was a challenge because I had to put the tripod on top of the bed. And keep it steady. You know beds are not steady, especially when you're sitting on them. So I had to set it up, pre-record it, check the frame, make sure it's still in position. The whole time I'm filming the scene, I have to stay, like, basically be still. Like, my feet can't move. It's all just hand motions. And you can see it in, in, in the cut. If I move my feet, that tripod's going like this. And then there's just no good scene. Luckily, I think I just needed to record it once, and I think I did like three, maybe four takes in that sequence. That was pretty much it. Then, of course, from there, we had the opening title sequence, which we filmed out here in L.A. It's just one take that was just cut up. Hardest part about that was... The order of the doors opening and closing. I had to make Vader's door close, like as if he closed it. So I had to like hide behind, make sure that my face wasn't on camera when I closed the door. And opening the door. Well, actually, I think the door might have already been open when I when the cut starts. But and then it was just time jumps throughout that take. That's all that was. I think I got it pretty much in the first shot when we started driving the driving portion credits roll then we go into dan and vader still into our lives eating pizza no surprise there and one of the coolest rarest shots that i got was a flashback of dan being in court basically accusing vader of lord knows what and it has the biggest realistic continuity error in probably the whole show. And that is, you are not allowed to wear a hat when you are in court. And what is Dan doing? He's wearing a hat. Luckily, this is a comedy and not a true crime show. That was all done... Uh, I hope I don't get sued for this, but... That was all done on a uh, real film set while everyone was at lunch. Uh, I just saw an opportunity. I was hanging out in the courtroom on lunch because I do work on TV shows. So I was working on this TV show. And I saw an opportunity to uh, do like a little quick two second thing. I had already been sitting there. So I'm like, well, this is an opportunity to like just sit in spots of the show, like sit on the set where I you normally can't. And I was just sitting there. I'm like, well, let me let me do something. For, let me do something. Maybe maybe it'll fit somewhere. Sure enough, it did. One of the funniest parts in the episode, for sure. Just I hope the production does not come after me for that. It's literally you. It's so framed up. It's so cropped. You can't. I mean, realistically, can you tell what set it was from? I don't think you can, but we'll see what happens. One of my favorite scenes in this episode, filming wise, and I think putting together, was the Pictionary slash charade um, montage game play. And of course it's the, you know, 
the answer is the Death Star both times. It was fun because I got to be really animated and throw in a little Palpatine impression. Um, um, um. Hey, fire it real, Commander! Then the little scene outside in the snow. Of course, you can't do a scene that takes place in Chicago without snow, right? Especially because I shot that in January. And, uh, it was just too funny. I'm like, I gotta have Vader come out here somehow, but he's gotta come out with something. Something that fits him, but something that just doesn't do Dan any good, and that would be a gardening shovel. Because any other shovel would just be way too big for him. Believe it or not, when I filmed the dart scene, which is the last scene that we filmed for episode one, we filmed that in August. First shot of the dart scene was pointing at Vader and I when I threw the first dart. And no one's going to believe me, but I promise, I swear on my life, that the first dart I threw was a bullseye. And that's how I played the scene. When I did the reverse, the insert shot of me making that throw, it probably took me at least 50 times before I actually got a bullseye on camera. But the first one actually went in, and that's why I played it like that. The bullseye! The holes in the dartboard are real and they were not put in there for the scene. They had been there from over the years when me and my friends would violently play darts. We would just like throw them like, a, like we were on a pitching mound because it was just fun that way. Don't, don't ask me why. One thing that really got me being a critical thinker when it came to filming this show was was being aware of positioning. What I mean by that is the scene where I'm standing next to Vader playing darts, when it was time to do the close-ups for Vader, I had to make sure that I was standing next to Vader in those close-ups because I was. Otherwise it would look like I just disappeared. Things like that really make a difference and really matter when you're when you're filming a show like this, especially when you don't have anybody else there to help you with continuity stuff. Anytime I film a scene with Dan on the phone, I had to use my Apple headphones because my phone is what I'm actually using to film the whole show. And I don't have a prop phone, not yet. It's gonna happen one day and that was always fun and a challenge to make sure it actually looks like I have a phone on me and that I'm actually answering a phone. This is why the first episode took so long to film. I was already, I had already moved to LA when I sh started shooting. I went back to Illinois for the holidays brought all my stuff that I needed to shoot the first episode in January. Well, I filmed the holiday special first. Then after the holidays, I filmed the first block of episode one. And I think after putting it all together, it only came out to like, I don't know, maybe seven to eight minutes, maybe almost 10, but it just wasn't quite long enough. And then when I came back to do episode two, episode three, four, five, whatever, um, they all ended up being way longer in almost 20 minutes, but consistently like almost 20 minutes. So I'm like, yeah. I think this episode needs to be a lot longer. So I did some filming in June. When I came back in June, we filmed 
I believe that's when we did like the pizza scene, the scene at the office, the disc golf scene, the scene at Fog Cutter. Then in August when I came back, this is a crazy story. Not really, but I was supposed to work on a show on this Tuesday in particular, and they had flipped their schedule because of how hot it was going to be that day. So they flipped it to where they're going to be doing an indoor scene instead of an outdoor scene. So they ended up not needing me that day. Well, on this scorching, what was it, like a hundred and... I think it reached 104 maybe with humidity or something. It was something really, really hot. I decided to go out and film outdoor scenes. So I was supposed to work on a show called 61st Street today and they uh, changed their days because of the heat. And here I am <laughs> filming Honky Horn in the heat. Shout out to 61st Street cast and crew though in production for taking the proper precautions. Don't listen to me. It's too dangerous out here. Do not try this at home. But you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, right? Luckily it's past five o'clock, so it's not as hot, but it it's tough. It's not safe, but we're getting it done. The basketball scene, the scene in the sandbox, the scene on the swings, Oh, and let's not forget the scene with uh, Dan and Vader sliding down the slide. All of that was filmed on that day, and it was brutal. There was points where I had to, like, like stop for a second and, like, hydrate, make sure I'm drinking water. Those scenes took a while. To this day, I still think one of the best shots, if not the best shot, of all of the episodes that we've ever filmed was the sunset scene in Chicago. It was absolutely beautiful, stunning, and very on the fly. I was coming home from a shoot, this was in June, on this show that I had been brought on to, and I thought to myself, I wanna get a scene for this first episode showing downtown Chicago. I have to. This is the episode where they leave Chicago. Bye bye Chicago. No more Chicago. It's all going to be road trip from here. But I knew that I was doing this flashback scene and I thought it would be really cool to do something downtown Chicago. And it just happened to be getting towards sunset and I'm driving along Lakeshore Drive and I'm just thinking to myself it would be awesome to get a sunset scene just them hanging out looking at the sunset laughing and having a good time and it would be perfect for the flashbacks montage and I mean the shot speaks for itself looks amazing so being that i had already moved to los angeles while filming this i had to do the scene of dan packing the car and then driving off which we don't see them drive off but i had to do it in a way where it you can't tell where where i actually am and that it doesn't, you know, I have to make it look like I'm actually still in Chicago somehow. Hence why very close shots, very tight shots. And my car was parked on the side of the street. And in the honk your horn world, the car is supposed to be parked in the driveway. <sighs> so I had to make sure there was no cars coming on the road when I shot the back tail light. And it had to be a good some odd seconds. So you can imagine waiting on Burbank Boulevard 
in Encino, California. It wasn't that late, but it was also not too early. But there were still a lot of cars coming down on the road. So to find that little increment of time took a little bit. But we got it, and I think it worked out.